Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the clips as much as I enjoyed making them. I'm going to be showing you my Palpatine heavy attack build for the Magic of Dragon Knight and also the Necro because we're using the same sets and um, both of those classes is interchangeable. It's better on the DK just because of one of the skills that we're using, but yeah. So there's two different ways to run this build and I will go over both ways one is more up in your face type of build which i typically go for but i actually opted out of this time and one is more like a sniper build now let me preface this by saying you need to run this in a group go in bgs do not try to run this solo because you will be <laughs> very upset and very disappointed you're a little squishy but as long as you have a competent team at least maybe a healer the whole time i was getting this clips i never had a healer so this build can perform much much better with a dedicated healer so let's check out our skill bar real quick so I'll run inner light so the way this build's going to function we're going to be crushing on heavy attacks from the lightning staff now a couple things to note about the lightning staff heavy attack it is a single target target ability it is not a direct damage ability until the final tick hits the final tick is considered direct damage also thaumaturge any dot damage increase does buff this heavy attack damage as well and also anything with empower that's why we're running mage light on the front bar here to get our power so instead of running empower you can also run chains if you want to go down that path but since this is more of a sniper type of build um, because you will get squished if you frontline with this just straight up just tell you guys that right now i opted for inner light instead so we're running fossilized we just need some sort of cc so we're running blockade of storms we're running this morph because it's a lot bigger and i'll be showing you how this actually plays into one of the sets later okay so we're running molten whip and flames of oblivion so your main combo are these three abilities and then your secondary you know kind of like your fallback when people get up on you you can actually man up on this build pretty pretty well actually so we're using molten whip which is a single target ability so this is pretty much buffed by all of our cp we don't have to run cp i'll go over cp setup later this is primarily meant for bgs but you know we'll still go over the cp nonetheless so the reason we have molten whip because it's direct damage sometimes we're going to pop corrosive to man up on people so a times three seething fury sack molten whip does hit hard as heck it hits harder than leap to be honest plus you have all your other ongoing dot damage and such plus a leap so we got leap in the front bar as well back bar molten armament this is essential you cannot slot this out for anything else you have to have coagulating blood the back bar we're using race against time since we're a little squish um, <laughs> a lot of squish you need some sort of snare removal just something to get you to safety you can't be a turtle on this you can't hold block forever so we have volatile armor and then we have barb trap now this is the proc one of our sets which we're about to go over again there's two ways of running this and we have corrosive armor on the back bar this is our oh ship button and then when people want to man up on this we can pop corrosive armor and go in on the offensive so Character sheet is as follows, pretty underwhelming. Back bar is as follows, and I just kind of buff up just for shits and giggles. It really doesn't matter. So we got about 10k spell pin, uh, 4k spell damage, about 35k max match. Uh, that's not really how we do all of our damage. We got a lot of crit resist, which you're definitely going to need in BGs for sure to deal all the to deal with all the critting proc sets. So on this build, we are running or rocking, excuse me, 
Uh, Breton, for the time being, uh, it can be whatever. You have infinite sustain anyway. I wasn't going to race change just for a Palpatine uh, meme build for the for Battlegrounds. Running the Lover Mundus because this gives you the most bang for your buck in terms of damage. And then also the Bewitch Sugar Skulls for our food. Equipment wise. I farmed forever for this. I finally got it in the middle of all things. I never got it as a drop in the Maelstrom Arena. So I even trade changed it just for you guys for this build because I love my community so, so much. So the first build is going to involve a Perfected or a Maelstrom Lightning Staff, Undaunted Infiltrator, and Undaunted Unweaver. Now, again, this is the first build. We will go over the second build here momentarily. Ring Sharpen on this with the Weapon Damage Enchantment. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what this does is, it gives you penetration. It also boosts your light and heavy attack damage when they're standing in your wall of elements. Back bar, we're running Undaunted Infiltrator. Ideally, you will want a sword just for the extra spell damage and heals. Um, I just have a dagger, so that's what I roll with. Also, you want a defending trait and not infused. On your shield, you definitely want sturdy. I have reinforced. Again, guys, I golded this stuff out for you. I wasn't going to straight change it, okay? <laughs> Monster set we're going to run. We're going to Earth Gore. You need a big dick burst heal on this just in case you get caught with your pants down your monster set that you run on this should be very defensive in nature you can push more damage if you want if you really trust your healers but uh i do not so undaunted infiltrator this is going to be on our back bar only so we have three pieces on the body and then two pieces on the back bar so how you proc this, you just use any stamina ability on your back bar. So we're using Barb Track. We can just toss it down and spree cheek, plus it gives you minor force. Ideally, guys, you want at least, at least 27k health if you're not going to get squished. If you're going to be by yourself, you probably need closer to 30k health. But if you're running with a group, 27k before you go into the BGs, it's kind of the threshold you want to at least try to get to. On all the traits, you either want Divines or Impen. Entirely up to you how you want to run that. And then I, I have blue jewelry. Do not give me crap in the comments, guys. I know it's it's not that big a difference, okay? It is still hits super hard even with the blue jewelry. I did gold enchant it if that means anything. Um, not running a mythic item. Now, you can definitely run Malakanth. I was playing around with some of the crits earlier. Um, also, I forgot to mention on the jewelry, you want everything infused spell damage. Now, you can play around with the crits because you do have a decent crit pool. I think you go up to like almost 30% so in BG. So that's pretty good. Um, I did feel that Malakanth did give me a little bit more consistency, but I was hitting sometimes 9, 10 K ticks, ticks, okay, ticks of this. I did a whole recording session of like four hours, me going into BGs with this. I forgot to timestamp everything. So some of those aren't in here and most of those ticks, you know, the big dick ticks, they was only in there for just a second and it didn't show any relevant content, just some high damage numbers that you can get in BG. Trust me, especially if you go this out, <laughs> You're gonna be hitting people super hard. I already got a lot of hate mail. Even banging chains. I don't know if you guys who know, know who that is. He messaged me. He's, he's like, dude, this shit hurts. Stop it. Just stop it. So some really funny hate mail. You know, kind of banter back and forth between a fellow Chad, right? So this is the first setup. Now you can change and daunted unweaver. Change one of these pieces out to put on uh, Malakanth if you wanted to. Okay. Malakanth works really well on this build, but the only thing is if you run Malakanth, you gotta drop your monster set. And I'm opting for the monster set, to be honest. Okay, so the second setup, I don't have any of the gear on me, but it's very, very simple. It pretty much does the exact same as this build. It's a little bit easier to keep the uptime. It does do a little bit less damage than what this build does, and it does require a lot less farming because you don't have to go into Melsh Marina. So you want to run Noble Duels on your front bar, and then you want to run Unweaver on your back bar. This is great because it will free up a monster slot. So you can run Earth Guard or whatever defensive set of your choosing. And then you can also run a Mythic. So in hindsight, when I was putting this build together, it may have been better to go with Noble Duelist over the Maelstrom, Undaunted Unweaver, Undaunted Infiltrator. Um, it's entirely up to you. And also with Noble Duelist, it does require you to be in melee range. Now I forget exactly what the definition of melee range is. You guys will have to Google that or I can Google it and link it in the comments somewhere. But that build is super, super good too. I ran into another DK using it and we was hitting about the same numbers anyway. Mine was hitting a little bit harder, but he was also able to be a, a lot more aggro with running Noble Duelist. So. Um, it, it, it's, it's kind of a, a catch-22 there. So that does it for 
the sets that does it for the gear and that kind of does it for the palpin team build i will go over the champion points just so you guys can have an idea what you want to optimize you definitely want deadly aim so deadly aim buffs your single target abilities that's all your lightning staff heavy attack damage you definitely want to have weapons expert okay um, I was playing around with Mastered Arms. This is not necessary. You can get some, hit some really hard Molten Whips with your Corrosive if you want to run Mastered Arms. A better CP would be for you to run Ironclad down here in the, uh, the Starving Death Tree. So run Ironclad instead of Mastered Arms. Then Thaumaturge, again, it does both the tick damage and all your other dots of all your abilities. Going to the red tree, the red tree, you just kind of pick and choose what you want, to be honest with you guys. Um, like I said, you do need more health, so if you want to try to run this in open world, definitely have your group. Do not run this solo yet again, I'm telling you guys. Um, you can't go wrong with Relentlessness, Sustained by Suffering, and Pain's Refugee. And a little, uh, a little exploit that you guys may or may not know. If you get a Vampire Bite and you don't complete the quest, you get no Noxophilic Sanguavara, Sanguavara, whatever on you. This counts as a negative effect, so when you go into your champion points, and you always get the 150 recoveries from uh, Sustained by Suffering. So just a little tip from your boy Horcrux, and in the green tree it really doesn't matter. Just have liquid efficiencies if you do decide to run expensive heroism pots, which I do because they're absolutely amazing. You guys want to know how to make those? It's Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Rum, and Columbine. You can thank me later. So, that does it for the build, guys. Um, take a couple of DKs with a dedicated healer and some aggro stamina boy into BGs, and you are going to piss so many people off. I guarantee it. If I had success running this solo without a healer, I know you guys will have even more success when you actually put effort into this build I at, at least make your gear purple right I made some of it gold but yeah it, it doesn't really matter odds are I'm not gonna run this build too much just because I'm a solo player and this is definitely not a solo player type of build but it is fun I've had an absolute blast with it I actually enjoyed grinding the sets going into the BGs and making it I've had a really good time with this but anyways guys do not forget to eviscerate the like and subscribe button but please don't do so if you enjoyed the content and I appreciate all of you all for coming out and sticking to the end of the video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. As well, you pretty much run the exact same setup. No. It's pretty trolly. It's pretty memey. But it yields. Fuck. God damn it. Essentially, it does the same thing. So, there's. Uh...